This is the Time with Plus TV Africa. Welcome to another very interesting episode. And I have my co anchors with me, Nimi De Kombi and Ifeo Lua Oshoke. What's, what's up, up, what's man? up? What's up? What's up? Uh, what's thank up? God. That's Yay. me. Oh. I was really, really proud of you. rejoiced too fast. As in, they I said, don't be too quick to rejoice <laughs> and don't be too quick to be I sad. rejoiced too fast. Mm. You just played out right now. I played myself. Like, okay. Mm. Oh, you guys were expecting me not to say that's me. Mm. I forgot for a few seconds, but as soon as yeah, I remember I that popped. Wow. So sad. You were saved for a few seconds. As in, yeah. But you just had to go back. Yeah. It should be a difficult thing to win his soul, but it's okay. We'll keep trying. <laughs> okay, um, so there is a new feud. There's an ongoing feud between music journalist Joey Akan and rapper Zlatan. Joey Akan has shared his thoughts on the Zanku dance and Naramali's um, Malian movement. On the Malian movement, he said, and I quote, Malians are a stupid bunch, a band of nitwits in the idea of foolishness. There is no boundary, no fall or afterthoughts. Just lost sheep without a modicum of sense or self-respect. Malians stand for Irano. They stand for rubbish and they stand for normalization of rubbish. Some, same way Yahoo was trying to go mainstream, Malia, um, Naramali is now pushing for normalization of public masturbation. Grown men, grown men making dick moves on dance floors is not evolution, it's degeneration. Malians equals donkey of the year. And then while on Zanki, Zanku movement, he said, and I quote, the Zanku era is finally over. Thank heavens we had fun. In that time, we got to see the soul of the streets and elevate some of its illustrious and polarizing sons, including Zlatani Bile and Naramali. The sound has moved on. Whoever doesn't will be left behind. End of quote. And then an infuriated Zlatan fired back at him saying, now all of us be donkey, including you because you follow all paths of Mali and self. He went on to say he would have beaten him like he did Vico, if not for the intervention of his lawyer, Yemisi Falaye. He also mocked Joy Akan for seeking an interview with him. So there's been a lot of back and forth. I hope I've been able to summarize the problem. <sighs> It's a lot to Or the fight. But man, that diss at Malians do. Oh, deep. Ah, oh, even, well, they, even though I'm not a Malian. They have a Malian on the table. Don't let him give you from as right as hand and left hand. I'm looking at this. <laughs> no, Our fellow Malian, how do you feel? They say you are a deep sweet. I mean, which Dim wit. <laughs> Dim wit. <laughs> um, well, there are levels to the Malian ball. Uh, yeah. uh, you did not say. He did not say yeah, any yeah. level. He it said Malian. There was no characterization of yeah, Malian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, Joy Akan is probably not aware of this. Oh, he does um, not know the different levels. Aspects and different oh, right. levels of Malian. He's not please. well enlightened teach like that. Um, but at the end of the day, like... He said our, what he said. Our friend, <laughs> our friend Benny Ak also told you that he's... Uh, Why are you trying to... Wait, wait, wait. You want to, you to make you put your grandma out. Benny Ak has told me in private that he's done with the Malian movement. In private. Okay, well, he told you in private, but he told us, <laughs> but he told us in public, mm. right? When he swore an oath to be part of the Malian, wow. but he said he's, he's, a, uh, he's an older generation millennial Malian. Mm. Mm. So some of us are also the educated and fighting for justice Malian because the Malian movement is a movement. Yeah, movement. Mm. Do you understand? <laughs> so depending on what you want to stand for, we see that somebody who stood for something and went with it. So a lot of people ran with different aspects of being the Malians, mm. those that want to do I think he's also trying to change the narrative when it comes to his soapy dance. Because yeah. I watched his Malian day, even though I was on there when the um, anchor, was her name? I can't remember her name now for the life of me. I'm sorry about that. But um, she, the show started late. I mean, for an online show, we still stay late. I think we stayed like 45 minutes late or so before he came out. And she was doing her thing. And then when he came up, he, I think he said, uh, so please now washing hand or something. Yeah, he said yeah, something different. To, Although yeah. I didn't stay till the end because I, I got bored really. I'm, not, I'm really not a Malian. I found out that day because... For me to tune off, I wasn't really doing anything, but I couldn't connect, yeah. So, so some of us will yeah. just appreciate and respect the zeal and resilience of somebody who keeps going at something mm. and is able to come out with it. So if we can put the Malian spirit into a lot of other oh things we're advocating I actually like for how Joy is, in Nigeria. Joy is um, handling it, because even those that are trying to now go low, in the sense that there was someone that was saying, why would he even want an interview with his Latin? That what was he looking yeah. for? Basically trying to tell him to forget about Zlatan. And he are said, you going to let he gave them the sorry, different aspect of this man. Mm -mm, you people are not that relevant. He gave them 10 <laughs> points or more than 10 points of why an interview with Zlatan is important. But Basically, I like those 10 points were like 
insults. To no, no, they were not insults. It's, 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 it's educating for people who want to go that It route. was a kind of, it wasn't for that. If we really want to be honest, it was to berate him. Berate to be honest, time. it actually felt like I it was an insult. Think so. Look at it, how to groom a niche a niche um, sound, sound that is a sound we've had before. Push it into the mainstream. How to support Raz music with an attendant lifestyle. But is what that not a thing? Really mean? Yeah. How do you groom and monetize that rough? This is tell you how intelligent Joey is, actually. I still felt like he was a sub to Zach. Joey. Joey, you is are very... talking like a Malian right now because ah, things like I'm this, not this that big like this <laughs> comes out as an insult to them, but it's okay. Yeah, but, uh, um. about what um, what happened? The old Zatan. Moment. I agree with Joey on some parts and I don't agree with him. I think lumping the entire Malian sect mm. or Malian fan base mm. is a little too much and calling them all of those names. The truth is people enjoy music for different reasons. And like he said, there was an era where people resonated with, with the Zanku music. To be honest, I feel like he now said it that has changed. The era is over, it yeah, that era yeah. has changed. So so during sure that has period has I saw a changed. video today. Oh. Of three girls, Zanku. Zanku. Oh. Nah, but it's not really as popular then. You know, everybody was Zanku and everybody was different um, songs have come out now that are not really following that vibe anymore. So it feels like people are leaving that kind of music. But during that time, people but vibed thing, that like music I said, and they were I, fans. Okay, and I don't think you should be insulted because of that. Say it's I had tea to spill. Mm. Because I, I still saw Joey dancing to a Zanku music like two days ago. Was it by but he, did, he, didn't say <laughs> he didn't say Z dancing Zanku is bad. He said, thank God it has passed. The yeah, people he came down at is Soapy Dance. Yeah. Was he dancing And he was dancing to a Nayamali song as well. Was he dancing Soapy? That's what I'm soupy. saying. That if you enjoy the, um, um, Nayamali I'll, music or Zatan's music, I don't feel that that means that you have you are a dim weight or that means that you are all the words that he used to qualify them. I think it's just music. People enjoy music for different reasons and in different seasons. I don't think you should be insulted because of you that. You know what? I don't get why Naira Mali is being brought into this, but if you had asked the me... The soapy from, dance is what he doesn't have. Yeah, to because have um, if you had asked me about Joey Akan and Naira and Zlatan, I'll probably say it's publicity snob because of the last tweet he put out. That was what made me conclude this because it was like... Um, he just put out a song, The Matter. So maybe that's why The Matter, he's, he's been promoting The Matter for a long time now. Joey Akan even really um, No, I'm talking of I'm talking about Joey Akan now making us talk about The Matter because a lot of people don't even know about The Matter because oh, wow. I just realized people... And the views went up. Um, is it a video So you're saying that Joey Akan... It's a song. Featuring Zlatan are doing a publicity stunt. Possibly. That's what you're trying to say. Possibly. Uh, it's possible, but, but it's possible? I'm not going to tilt towards no, that. No, I don't want to tilt towards that. When he dropped um, the matter, the day he was going to, when he is Latin study promotion for the matter, he was online and he trended for two days consecutively on the matter because of the, the, the concept yeah. around and the matter. And then there was a weekend that that matter it, it, thing yeah. was a trend. So it was yeah. a trend. I don't yeah. think he would need this. And I don't know what's um, Latin. Maybe because the song is doing well and he wants it to reach a certain level so that he can start cashing out from well, it. Well, I, I don't know. You if, know, people do different things. If it is, for... then I don't think it is working for someone with my kind of mindset because I read everything, looked at everything. And you still didn't check the And I was not... I've, I've never checked not, the And I will too. not... Even listen to the song. Okay, maybe now that we've said, maybe people will stop checking. But please, if you no, haven't seen the matter, check. please go check the matter husband. and support so, the crap. Yeah. So the problem I had with um everything Joey did, I I love Joey Akin. I appreciate his work because when he writes, he writes with a lot of sense. But if you're having, if you want to criticize music, he's a music journalist. It's okay to say the truth, but don't be a backdoor truth sayer. Like, if you are saying the truth, then make sure that your truth is 100% and you're not in any way trying to tilt towards that person truth regardless. Truth can be 100%. Facts can be 100%. Yeah. Why can't truth He's be 100%? He's talking about his truth. truth exactly, because it's his like truth. from your own objective so, um, yeah. point of view. So okay. it can never that, be 100% And he's just doing his factual. job. Basically. Well, he's just doing his job, but at the end of the day, I think if you have a particular relationship with somebody is okay he for does. you. He's a human he being. Doesn't so have a I feel like he doesn't have a personal relationship. Sometimes. Why is he saying I want to sit with you for 24 he hours? He is a journalist. That's what he does. Have you have you read Joey's I don't think interviews? I would write Zlatan and you would tell me uh, I did go tell. From mm -hmm. that chat you would know that these are people that have each other's numbers probably. <sighs> I don't think okay. I, if I chat up, I'm a journalist, but if I write a Zlatan now and say, uh, guy, where you did, he would not give me his location. If Do you he understand? Guys already planned he could, because don't forget before. that Joyakan is not just a journalist. He's the number one music journalist in Nigeria. So you want him to write about you. In fact, whether he's writing good, and bad. then he said, um, which, I don't even forget what you want me to do for you, Seth. 
So they've had a sequel conversation. Mm, on the, uh, well, whatever it so, is. I just, that's, that's so you still think um, it's Zlatan Zlatan I think it's in a way, I think it's a public. But I'm now. also scared for Joey Akin's safety because um, a threat is somewhere there. Yeah, because he said he would have done what he did to Vico. He act, just he just came out to admit that he actually there. I just hope assaulted Joey, Vico. I, I hope Joey knows when to say it's all right. If this is not publicity stunt. So Joey should step down. Uh, should stop write your life. Your when you, no, write your truth, but stop with the back and forth. That's what I, I don't so appreciate. Okay, or... let's let's move on. I, I know Joey has handled worse, so um, exactly. they will be fine. And um, thank God for um, his his lawyer, his, Zlatan's lawyer, is there to put him in check. So shout out to Yemi Sifalai as well. Hmm. Um, moving on. <laughs> Can Zlatan be put in check? Well, that was what he put out himself. Yeah, he he said he would have so. beaten Joey yeah, if but not in this case Sifalaya. right now. And then Joey said he has to keep up a face that he, he, he just went to the mainland and he's looking for... Um, announce a house agent in um, Ikbori, Igom, to rent a, a face me, I face you. So, in case you have any agents around for who? There, please. For, himself. for himself, because oh, Latan okay. said he lives in a face, face me, I face, face you. In fact, I said that was really ridiculous. And we know for a fact that he doesn't. <laughs> Do you understand? So, if you really want to Joey, be somebody, I mean, Latan is a typical, right now, he's been a typical online troll. They say things Did that I just they say don't even, Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on, please. Um, past leaders failed yeah. to fix the country. You all turn around to blame Nollywood for it. All the gun violence movies you watch from America, has it stopped you from applying for American visa? Neither have the Kung Fu movies stopped you from going to China. It's all entertainment. Speak with foreign investors. Their fear is the failing economy of Nigeria, the insecurity, and the fact that government can wake up any day and make a law that can cripple all their investments without thinking twice. Their fear is not the stories from Nollywood films. This is coming from Nollywood actor Yul Edoche. Mm. In case you missed yesterday's episode with um, Fuluke Daramola Salako, then maybe you get the answer to this question because Nollywood is what is, what is happening in the society, so mm. you can't give what you don't have so it's what is currently happening they're acting out that's what movies are about so i think people should just stop blaming nollywood for every problem in nigeria and i totally support you led the i think maybe the second time in every time i don't think that anybody has ever said that nollywood is the problem of nigeria they say yes, ah when i think of the problem of nigeria, i'm like mm, nollywood is the problem i think that for a lot of people they just think that the mindset that some nigerians have I'll take it back to what Baba today Raji Fashola said. The mindset around money ritual blah, blah, is reinforced. Your meat. Meat. I'm just playing with you. Go on. What he said, Nollywood reinforces some of these beliefs. I don't think anybody has actually said that Nollywood is the reason why Nigeria is the way it is. But when it comes to, to changing people's, they have the power, to be honest. Movies have the power to change your beliefs. You mm. have the, they, have the, they have the ability to make you see something new. But it feels like what Nollywood does is just to reinforce old But they're not putting beliefs. things that are not there. They, yeah, they are there. But I'm saying that they have the power to actually change the narrative in how people see things. So they should lie to us. I like that he's bringing um, Hollywood into this. At least we are not the one that brought Hollywood. You brought it yeah. upon yourself. Um, the perception that most of us have of America is something we saw in the movies. Yeah. Even when we come out, it's now that we are seeing police brutality, sure. there's social media, people are standing up and, and we can say, okay, really we is. are seeing almost the same thing happening here. So is it, there could be, yes, they've got a system, but their policemen will also have where there's some bad eggs that we talked about in the morning comes into play, right? Um, so, in that case, it's so when it comes to movies and uh, maybe not music, but uh, looking at movies, it, it kind of helps in shaping the perception of a country and even a yeah. continent. Um, it, it, it might not be the entire thing, but it plays a huge role. Um, I'm also going to bring Dubai into this conversation. Yes, I know UAE is a, a beautiful place. Um, yes, I've seen a lot of things there, but the PR that goes into making UAE a place that everybody wants, wants to, go to go to at every point in time when you yeah. think of vacation mm -hmm. is not a joke. It is a deliberate PR. And if we're even mm -hmm. going to start, because I'm not going to say we are 
have we are even doing any PR for Nigeria. We've not even gone to Nigeria, right? For us to think of PR. So if we're going exactly. to get to that point where we are thinking of PR for Nigeria to promote our tourism and all that and make, give Nigeria an image, yeah. then Nollywood is also going to be one of those things that we have to look at. Even if the government will have to invest heavily and tell them to tell a certain type of story, not paint a picture that is not real, but enhance the good parts of Nigeria and the center of excellence and Abuja, everywhere that we know that we can be proud of. Yeah. So I don't get where he's coming from and even the uh, um, comparison, because if you're talking of gun violence, I mean, not, um, Hollywood have used that medium to actually tell us how it is happening. Um, China, we do not expect that anybody will be on the road and start kicking <laughs> Kung Fu in the first place. So um, when, like you said, the challenges we're talking about, it, we've never said Nollywood is the problem or the reason why Nigeria is, is corrupt is. or where it mm. is now. Well, when we talk about it, it's about lifestyle, the culture, the yeah. pop culture, what we think is right from wrong and how we behave. Even rape culture, when we're having that conversation, exactly. Nollywood has come up. Yeah. So that is what we're talking about. I think he, I, think, I get where he's coming I from, think, but he's missing the point somehow. what we should be advocating for is that we have better stories to be told. Yeah, because they don't actually tell than, good stories. But, if we but that's what we're saying. No, which is yeah, actually yeah, what, it is what we're saying, see. but if they have to talk about uh, rape, like you said, there's always a twist even when they're talking doing the gun violence movies in America. There's always a twist, the bad guy always goes down. But out here, man, sometimes the bad guys even win. Yeah. Do you understand? The rapist marries yeah. his victim. Do you understand? It so sense. it is how they change the narrative that really counts. So it's not like, don't tell us the same story. You can tell us the story of what is going yeah. on, but make sure there's a twist to it. Make sure there's a message because sometimes you, you're influencing other people negatively yeah. with the end of the movie and most times the end of the movie is the whole movie yes and that's that's actually what we're trying to say the truth is when you even this hollywood movies that we've been talking about most of the time for instance let's talk about insecure there is no day an episode of insecure drops that people are not talking about it on social media whether it's they're saying that oh i can relate with this situation they are they are learning things from the movie yes it's a movie you're supposed to have fun and enjoy but then there are also things that they are preaching the movie. So the question we should ask ourselves is, what is Nollywood preaching? How many movies are actually starting up conversations? How many movies are portraying mental health? How many movies are, are, are doing their proper research when it comes to certain topics in the society? Mm. Those are the problems that we have with Nollywood. You, you would see them do a movie and then you would know that. You're watching me and you're like, no, this movie did not do their proper research. Maybe a doctor is saying something wrong and not properly found. Come on. Mm, well, they can, that, that can do a lot that more. Could be, do you understand? That There's could like be a lot a reality, of, though. That a doctor <clears throat> Tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. I trust in Africa. I'm feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still time on Plus TV Africa. <clears throat> you have made the choice to feed the dragon called social media with every detail about your life. Be ready also for consequences when it comes. And this is coming from Eukarya Anunobi. Mm -hmm. I actually agree with what she said. So you, I feel you like, agree that social media is a dragon? I would say that social media is a dragon, <laughs> but to some extent it, it is, because the truth is, when you're putting out stuff on social media, you should know that there will be positive, there might be a positive response, and there will also be a negative response. I think the negative part is the dragon. For instance, I, I was, I was I, I, on the shade room, I saw a picture of a grandfather and his black, his black granddaughter. And when you see, the picture was so innocent, it was very beautiful, but if you see the ugly comments that some people were you know, saying there that he should not have mixed his pure gene with another, with a black gene, you, you get that kind of negativity. So when you put 
every single detail of your life on social media, just know that you are going to have like a lot of people, even if they're not really sensible people, you're going to have a lot of people, you know, constantly break down your, your life. And I, I, I agree with that. I think that. what I'm hearing from you is the fact that whatever you decide to put on social media, whether it's a little of your life or a huge part of your life, um, there would be opinions and yeah. we need to we need to start if you're going to put it out there whatever it is you need to start coming to terms with that fact that there will be positive there will be negative regardless of how much we try to encourage people to be positive in what they do and how they drop comments it's never going to change there yeah. will be people who would want to project their insecurities their sadness their failures their frustration on something very innocent you know and, and so if you're going to uh, borrowing her word now feed the dragon then um be ready for the consequences i think mm. that is where um what i get from what she's saying and um, totally agree with what um Ikeria said because um the, the dragon social media like we all know it has been the reason why a lot of people are falling into depression because yeah, um you keep putting exactly. things out there that should be private, like talking about your husband, talking about your wife, talking so about your personal... somebody's husband that is making some people depressed. Talk, talking about, <laughs> no, no, I'm just giving instances. Ah. Talking about your personal relationship, <laughs> talking about your financial issues, talking about so many things that should be private and if you have to share it, should be with loved ones. But you put it on social media and then somebody will come and tell you uh, when your mates were, when you talk about your financial woes, somebody says when your mates are hustling, where were you? Do you understand? Things like that will probably get you. And some people would still be there that I understand what's going on. You will get through this. Some people. So you need to pick what aspect But you know social. when people talk about, make that kind of statement you just made now, it comes where some people see it as unbelievable that people can actually be successful mm -hmm. or they attribute every success to... Um, illegal activities, money, ritual, things like that. They don't even understand that you can work hard to actually be successful and be rich. Yeah. So the response is usually is what you give and they give you your own savage back and then you want well, to feel they're coming against my you. Well, my personal advice to uh, people on social media that it's okay to put your stuff out there but be ready for what you want to get back. Now, if you yeah. want to pick the negative comments, then fine. You let it affect you because they'll always be there even with your a very good post you mm -hmm. see people that'll yeah. tell you rubbish so it depends it depends on what you want to take out of social media or sometimes if you want to put out something and you don't want anybody's comments they are, they're different yeah. i just wanted to say just yeah, so, upon that there, yeah. there's actually like a celebrity that i really really admire when it comes to like, keeping a private life away from social Jenna media Babe. no i was i wanted to talk about beyonce oh like okay. the, you would really know what is going if beyonce really ever even gives you an in about what is going on in your life. So I think it is possible to keep your private life away from social media. It doesn't mean you, should, you have yeah, to like Beyonce stop posting stuff. Genevieve is doing yeah, it. Yeah, there are so many mm. people and you don't know anything that is going Mr. on in Fire their life. Mr. Fire is doing it. <laughs> yeah, That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 Five seven one nine or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. I thank you as always. You go to my co-anchors if you're Yes, that's me. And Nimi Dekombi. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please stay safe.